Welcome back to the Throga channel. As always, my name is Richard. And always, as always. <laughs> oh my God, one more time. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Roll with it. Okay. And as always, I am also Johnny. Always as Richard. <laughs> always as Johnny. Okay, this is going to be a good video. Okay. There's no poll for this one because it was pretty evident as to what you wanted us to do, which was to watch a live video. First of all, that's always encouraged, and we understand why now after seeing several this. of the performers. And I know it's super difficult for you guys to select only a single song, so we went ahead and selected three songs from a live performance with Tiny Desk Korea. I don't know if it's a TV show or Tiny Desk Korea. Tiny. I'm not sure what it is. Hold me closer, Tiny Desk. I wonder how many how many song references we could fit in a single video with you. <laughs> this is V performing from his latest album. The name of the songs are Love Me Again, Slow Dancing, and For Us. I guess it's in that order. We will find out. Yeah, and before we do, make sure you like and subscribe, people, and ring that bell so you can always be um, kept abreast of... <laughs> I like how you're mixing it up today. Just like and subscribe and ring that bell. Just check out the description below where you can take a free vocal assessment if you're curious to discover more about your voice and you can learn more about taking private online vocal lessons with myself or songwriting lessons with Johnny. Ooh. All right, small space. I see desks. I like this chord progression so far. Hold on, I want to see if there's... Well, let me check out oh, the chord progression. Right? I was going to say, they, there is closed caption, so I want to start again so we can kind of take in the lyrics. Before you jump into the, the chord progression, warm tone, there's a gentleness to it. It's it's inviting immediately. So this is a cool intimate space, but his voice is featured and spotlighted in a way that it should be. So I can see why this environment works for his tone right away. Yeah. What are you going to so say about me, the uh, chord progression? Yeah, let me take a, that's really interesting. So the song is in B flat and it starts with the four chord, E flat major seven, then it goes to that A flat seventh, which is beautiful and then that's the, what makes it really interesting right there yeah that's 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 the money chord right there and then b flat nine and then uh major major seven add nine g, g minor yeah nice in case any of you want to play it those are your chords The 70s soul vibe is, is really it cool. Is. And, uh, and again, different from all the other members, which is staying consistent. <laughs> the yeah. consistent thing is they're all different from each other. Completely different. The live delivery of his storytelling is really cool. He's got these parts where he's kind of curving into the note where I mean, he's not off key. He's not flat, but he just sits in this space when there's like a sad moment. Cause it's very reflective. It's introspective. It's like a loss of a love. And it just kind of sits just a little bit under the average of the pitch, which gives it like that kind of sad, that like down feeling in exactly how it should be. Like a lot of times when songs like this are recorded in the studio, it's like fix, 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 like lock exactly in. Right. I like this just, it's a little loose in a really yeah. cool way. Well, that's an interesting point because so I do a lot of melodyne work, which is for the 
the layman pitch out there. Pitch correction, yeah. Pitch correction, so I can see it all visually in front of me. And rarely, unless it's you know a particular side of music where it really works for everything to be locked in, a lot of times there's a spectrum of a note, and sometimes mm-hmm. I'll go like either just a little flat or a little sharp on the note. You know, like a little sharp if you want a little extra energy, but the, sometimes flat just like fits in. It's just like... It's not like off key. It's not a different no, it's note. Still it's, in, it's still in the note. Yeah, really but it's subtle. Just, yeah, back that it up, makes a actually. difference. You can no, I don't want nobody else. I wish you could love me again. Damn, damn. again. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I wish you would love me again. Michael Jordan shirt he has on. What was that? Is that a Michael Jordan shirt he had, like a big 23? I have no idea. I was going to say Richard was not an athlete in high school. <laughs> was not. I was going to say, again, just his textures, the little vocal fry, like all these little delicate things that make it interesting. And when the backup singers come in, it's supportive of that. It's like it, it. It's not following all of his movements. It's more of like consistent rhythmic section. Yeah, it's kind and of just, like a nice juxtaposition where he's a little bit more laid back and loose, and they're kind of like more yes. precise. That, and tight. that yeah. dichotomy feels very intentional here, and I I like it. Ooh. Mm. Tasty. They're staying in the same key, right? They're, they're just kind of like circling around it a little bit. Like, uh, they're coming he just had back. like a... I think he did like a C in there or something. I'd have to hear it again, but right. yeah. I mean, I know it steps outside of the key, but it's not like they're transitioning into a whole nother... No, Dang. they're still in the same key. It's just he just he put a chord that was like a little bit unexpected. Unexpected. I approve of, yeah. Always. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, nice. Love the jazz, the jazz uh, infusion in there. Yes. Question for the army. Is this band he's working with, is, is, is this like a BTS band members? Like, do they work? Do you know if they work with the same musicians oh, yeah. often? Or is this just something that well, Like a backing with? band type of thing? Or yeah, is it just exactly. Strictly for V. Maybe these guys were a part of his actual album. Any information there might be kind of cool. Guessing we're going to the next song here. Okay. He's going to introduce the band members. Jacob. Oh, Kenny G. <laughs> Kenny G style. Blake. These guys are great. Kurigo, Drum, Destin. Kurigo, by Cross, Trudy, Yanu, Shay. Kurigo, the Breath. 
Real White. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This album is the title of Slow Dancing. Moving down to Slow Dancing. Thank you very much. Quick pause before we start the second song. It is very clear to me now that our early statements or illusions, I'll say, or delusions rather, of what K-pop is and who BTS is and what the members are comprised of is so far we've, removed we've come a long from way. reality. We were naive little babies when we started. Couple babies. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Americans don't know music. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> nice. I like the very like low key, like the range, but nothing too crazy about it. Yeah, the yeah. It's about time we get this straight. Give me a minute if it ain't too late. Nice. Oh, jazzy element. <laughs> for a second yeah. again another cool cool chord progression so we got a a flat a flat with a b flat in the bass e flat major seven and this is the this is the cool chord so i love chords like that it can do so much melodically with that it opens up choices you wouldn't normally have yeah because when you have your typical pop progression which is you know the same sort of six progressions that they always use. You can do a lot with that, but it's like you're stuck in these parameters. So when you have mm -hmm. a chord like that uh, C flat, C seven flat nine. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it just yeah. opens it up. Yeah, that's what the one thing I feel like is missing from pop music. And I like pop music, don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's just like those interesting harmonic moments which i feel like was more prominent like in the 70s and stuff like 60s 70s sure. and it's kind of like been phased out a little bit the night away yeah turning me up and back off like this what do you want do you not like it something to me girl now you may really my heart out here night take all i got i said i'm going what was that? That chord progression I said before, it's not an E flat major seven, it's a G minor, which is they're related. So it's sort of right, but I, but I was going to say wrong. something, but I didn't want to put you on the spot, you know, because I know man. that'd be uncomfortable. <laughs> Thanks for sparing me of that, yeah. I want to point out, too, is like, we haven't watched enough videos to really see the level of dancing skills that each of the members have, but I know that they're all like monster dancers. I like that he is being reserved. He's being true to the song. It's just the simple composure. He's not throwing in a lot of flash visually. He's being true to the lyric and the feel of the song. And just now in this part of the song, you start to see him kind of opening up, which works with the context of the music and where the lyrics are going. So I, yeah. I just, his presentation in this environment shows just intelligent restraint uh, with his body, mm -hmm. which gives a better performance. So yeah, my general rule of thumb here is if you have a good song, a good voice, a great haircut, and a cool shirt, let that do the work. You don't have to do more. <laughs> that is that is literally the checklist that we look for yep. 
in a good performance. Those four things. <laughs> By the way, what V's doing right here, his dance move, is my only move. I just want you to... You rock that move, though. I just want to, po just want to point out that is the one dance move I have. I, it's nice to see it being delivered by a professional. <laughs> right there. There it is. <laughs> Always cool with letting the band have their moment too in these songs man i would just love to just be in that space just mm -hmm. that energy and that vibe right there would be killer yeah and those musicians are just amazing mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a respect that he has for the members to do what you were just saying, just to like to give that space and just kind of like play off yeah. of each other. Well, for this style of music, like the, the band is as important as the singer, which <laughs> sometimes the singer is just like is the thing, you know, is the focus. Of course. But well, he's the, yeah, you, he's going to be the draw. You know, yeah, which is super cool. No, but in other genres, it's all about the singer. But this genre, it's like the band is just if they're not cooking, then the whole thing falls down. This is Layover. 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 1년 동안 이제 아미 분들이 저를 정말 많이 기다려 주셨는데 어 늦은 만큼 이쁜 마음으로 꽉꽉 채워서 많이 보답 드리겠습니다. 마지막 곡 For Us 들려 드릴게요. Okay, so the next song is For Us. Okay. She seems like a really genuine guy. I, like I was that. just going to say that there's just an honesty in his smile and his appreciation and everything. Yeah, there's yeah. A, there's a warmness to him. Must be like a from the recorded track, like an effect, vocal effect going on here. Oh yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Ooh. What's the chord progression we got going on this one? Uh, kind of in the same vein as you as. The last one, um, actually, a common, oh, it's a combination of the first two. Uh, so we got a F sharp minor seven, and then da -da 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 -da, that's a B seven, and then this kind of cool chord. So 
it's a C sharp minor nine. Sometimes I think you're making up chords. C sharp minus nine with a two <laughs> add on times four. <laughs> Maybe I am. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's really cool. Come before us to live. I have things to say Before I go There's a time to lay We cannot away Nice Need to let you know that love I wish I could stay with you Nice head voice there I was hearing the same thing when you when you pointed out his head voice that the transition as we say through the passaggio chest voice into head voice is just so delicate and effortless for him i know it's not a belted moment it's intentionally small amount of air pressure it's intimate but still the tonal consistency there is super cool he's got the smoothness factor going for him for sure so again that that melody in conjunction with the chord creates something really neat um so he's singing uh G sharp on that over the F sharp minor seven, uh, so it's the ninth. And then I'm hearing other voicings in this that I didn't before. So it's that that B seven with that uh, flat nine. It's got that. Oh, I love that. It just like warms the chord. I don't know how else to say it. Yeah, it's just complex. It's like a fine wine. It's just yes. There's a lot of flavors happening. It's, just a, it's definitely candy for like the, the musicians out there, you know, that, that really pay attention to that stuff. Absolutely. Oh. That's a little journey. That's sort of similar to the last one. Yeah, it's kind of like I mean, the last song a little bit. Yeah, it almost kind of like, I wonder if they're connected yeah. at all. Because from maybe. my understanding, there's a limited number of songs on this album. So maybe he plays mm -hmm. off a theme throughout. He's such a sweetness to him. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just that seems very humble. That was great. You know, I remember now there was a few distinct comments that were saying specifically, we need to watch this for you. They're like, Johnny's going to love this one and we can mm -hmm. see why. It's a good call. Yeah, the, I mean, this collection of songs to me is the most reminiscent of the, the BTS video where we did the six songs that was a little more like poppy this is a little more soulful and again like totally different from everything else we've heard so These the are... fact that they can all come together i mean i guess that's what makes them special is because they are so different and then they meld so seamlessly very cool thank you guys again for uh suggesting tiny desk and before i forget be sure to check out the youtube community tab so you can vote on which song we should react to for j-hope and in the comments, let us know which song we should check out from, I want to say his name right, it's June Cook? Jung, Jung Cook, yeah, I Jung think it's Jung Cook. Any other information we need for them to know? No, I think that's it. Uh, vote, Okay. subscribe if you haven't already, so you know. And keep the comments coming in, guys, because we, we definitely, uh, they're very helpful, 
and yes. we read through all of them and we uh we love just the engagement that we can have with you guys and mark october 16th 2023 eastern time 8 a.m on your calendar so you can join us live for our the taylor mari guide to bts members extravaganza video with taylor there we can say that in this video because we already announced it in the last video yeah the cat's out of the bag yeah yeah I, let's make sure we post these in the correct order. Thank you guys for joining us, and yep. we'll see you next time. All right, take care, guys.